HMH Unit 3 Lesson 2 Review in its entirety. Uh, so we're gonna, so where I am right now is in the book on page 140, and I'm going to continue all the way through Lesson 2, which I think goes through page 155. This is all covered in class. Again, this is a complete review, so I'm going to go quickly and hit the highlights. If you need to pause the video at any time, then you're encouraged to do that. So the lesson opener, uh, can you explain it? So your right, is about the Cavendish banana and why it might be difficult to treat the disease. So look at the picture and the description uh, to come up with possible reasons why. You know, I encourage you to examine the surroundings, the environment, think about where the fungus is uh, and what's so unique about the Cavendish banana as you come up with your answers. And then we're over to exploration one. Here you have a series of organisms and they ask you to compare and contrast. So your response should include uh, mentioning how they have different numbers of offspring. They mention that in the descriptions. Their life cycles are different. Offsprings and uh, The offspring and the adults don't always look the same. And the time it takes for offspring to become adults. So you can include these ideas or others ideas of your own as well. Right, looking at types of reproduction. Um, wanted you to get a look at what correct and incorrect answers are like. Make sure you retry if you're getting correct and incorrect answers so you can verify that you know what's going on. But how many parents does each organism have? Of course, a bacteria only has one. It's budding. That's asexual reproduction. And uh, the coral dahlia has two. Uh, redwood trees uh, in the clearing might choose asexual reproduction. Okay. It allows it to colonize the area and spread out over time. And again, advantage online is you get uh, descriptions of feedback on each of your answers. Uh, moving into identifying the reproductive methods, uh, the bluegill you see is sexual, the jellyfish they describe both, and the coral, although it can do both, the example they give there with broken piece of coral is describing asexual. So drag those and drop them in where they belong or in your book, fill it out. Uh, hybrid. So think of ways you can help get plants to reproduce under your control, uh, like how you help the fast plant reproduce. Okay, You chose and got involved in the pollination. Also think of ways you can alter the genetics of organisms with the technology we have. Uh, do you necessarily have to do it with uh, artificial pollinating? Uh, are there ways you could do it genetically, uh, genetically alter? You could hybridize in some way or another. Uh, exploration 2. Uh, we take a look at our hydra and salamander. Uh, the hydra budding would be identical since it's asexual reproduction with a salamander. It's not identical because it's sexual reproduction, which is a mix of both the parents. Right, scrolling past the diagrams uh, with the bacteria, we have rapid growth. Your job is to uh, design a graph, um, and apparently it doesn't save it. So my graph was gone. I had a nice uh, graph here for you, but it should go up uh, rather quickly. I'm just going to draw a line here, give you an idea how quickly that, you know, your slope of your line should look something like that. So if you've got your y-axis and your x-axis, uh, you should have time along the bottom and number of bacteria up here. Make sure you fill out your scale accordingly. Don't evenly space numbers that are not evenly spaced. So if it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, do not space 1, 2, 4, 8 out evenly. Uh, your time, you can, uh, every 52 minutes. As we come down here, independent variable is time. The dependent variable is the number of bacteria. Uh, populations can grow and compete for space very, very rapidly, so that's an advantage. Uh, and then, why don't bacteria take over the world? Uh, so limited space and limited resources. They'll have to compete with each other, so they eventually run out of both to keep all the bacteria alive. Okay. Transfer in sexual reproduction. Uh, B and D are the correct answers. Okay. Modeling asexual and sexual reproduction. This is a long lab. We cannot cover all the options, so I just kind of hit some highlights. Uh, step two answers. Uh, are ex are correct. Um, the only two ways to get there are with the two different ways to get a pink flower. Uh, step three, you're getting an exact copy of the parent since it's cloning, so there's your option. But from here on out, 
Uh, step four, 27 possible combinations with the heterozygous parents. In other words, there's a capital letter, letter and lowercase letter in each parent. Uh, so I can't list them all here. How do they differ? Asexual will always be the same as the parent, and sexual will be a mix. Uh, and how, what you get in your uh, outcomes is going to depend on what you get. So you're going to have to describe your own data set accordingly. So your, resu your results in step nine go in the table, depending on what you get in coin flips. And again, you're going to have to describe your results based on what you get. Uh, Summarizing, just keep sticking with that idea that asexual is the same parent. They're genetically the same. Sexual, uh, different parents. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a little bit more diverse. Not sure why that got cut off, but we call that diversity in a population. Uh, coming down to the Venn diagram, uh, there it is in correct form. We've got one parent, usually faster with many offspring. As compared, as composed to, or compared to two parents, uh, takes a little bit more time, but both of them result in offspring uh, advantages uh, and disadvantages. You're just going to describe that in sentences. So something like asexual advantages include faster reproduction and more offspring. Disadvantages, there, there's no diversity. And sexual is just the opposite. There is diversity, but it can be slower with less offspring. And the idea that diversity makes for greater survival chances. Uh, Moving next to taking it further, now here we have the honey, the bee, and along with the honey bee, they show you a couple or a picture of fungi and strawberry. The correct answer for that is C. Male bees are not necessary. Uh, if you're working in the workbook, you're going to have to come up with your own statement, but you're welcome to use the one on the screen. And describing the environment when conditions are good or other fungi are nearby, sexual reproduction is possible. When conditions are tough or no other fungi are present, asexual reproduction is more common. Uh, and with the strawberries, the plants can reproduce quickly, having more offspring and covering more ground. Disadvantages is that the parent plants uh, compete against the runners for survival. And uh, now your answers can vary slightly, but those are just some ideas to think about. Next, we move on to the lesson self-check. First off is, can you explain it? Um, here, you're, it's a written response. You're coming up with your, or re revisiting your claim as to why the Cavendish banana is going, going extinct or is in danger of extinction. And you're going to have to cite evidence from the lesson. So again, those are personal answers. I can't provide you with the correct answer. Here, um, we can move on to the checkpoints where we can choose prop or certain answers that would be correct. Uh, so they're not identical. Uh, the marmoset population has genetic variation A. Uh, in the dandelion, A, B, and D are the correct answers. Okay. Provide genetic diversity, ensure favorable traits are passed on and they can rapidly colonize. Uh, dandelion plants, a portion staying underground, dry surface conditions or cold surface conditions would allow the plant to survive under the ground and continue to live till the next season. Interactive review, frog and tadpole. Uh, online, you're selecting. In the book, you're coming up with your own explanation, but they do Reproduce asexually fast, which does not require a mate, where sexual reproduction requires two parents, and but does increase genetic variation. Uh, with the hydra, uh, online they give you a table. In the book, you have to design your own. But stable conditions are asexual, changing conditions sexual, disease sexual would benefit, and with mates hard to find, asexual would be the reproduction of choice. So that's the end of lesson two. Uh, hopefully you did well, and if you're revisiting this to get caught up, there you go.